How's it going everybody, Budgie Pokemon here, and in this video I'm gonna be opening every single Sword and Shield pack, and when I say every single Sword and Shield pack, I really do mean it, because I also have these McDonald's packs in here. I also have like the booster pack, like the special Halloween one. But anyways, I think we're gonna take down a trip, or a trip down memory lane, and start with the oldest, which is Sword and Shield base, all the way to the newest, which is Crown Venice, like at the bottom of this pile right here. Anyways, let's put these over here, I suppose, and start off with the first booster pack. Sword and Shield Base. Man, this video has been, I want to say, a long time in the making. I've started buying all the packs, like, a while ago. So, I had some of these lying around for, like, a few months, and I never knew if they, if they actually have, like, pulls. That would be kind of cool if we... If we put like an alternate art or anything great. Sword and Shield base, nothing here, just a Noctowl, really cool illustration of a Noctowl. And the code card for Sword and Shield, lots of different code cards for this one. So I'm sure you, whoever gets those is gonna be pretty happy. Put the cards over here and continue on with Rebel Clash. There isn't really anything good in Rebel Clash other than boss's orders. Which I already have, already have the boss's orders. I wouldn't mind the rainbow version though, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, so these earlier Sword and Shield packs, like, didn't have alternate arts and only started in uh, battle styles, I think. So the best thing you can hope for in, in here is like, I don't know, full art trainer. But then again, any full art trainer would be a good pull, because I do like them. Have bought a few of them. Actually, have a, um, a few coming in from Japan, specifically from. From like, um, what should we call it? Scarlet and Violet, or Scarlet EX and Violet EX. Nothing too fancy, I didn't buy the Miriam because spending like 300 euros on a, on a, what should we call it, on a full art, full art trainer, or like 600 for the secret art rare version, that's a bit too much for me. That is a bit too much for me. So I just bought like basically the cheap ones, if you will. But they're, they're still pretty cool. Yo, we got the Charizard VMAX! Are you kidding me? From Darkness Ablaze, this is the best card you can pull from Darkness Ablaze. This has literally been sitting on my shelf for a month. And it actually had a really, really great pull. Yo, that is so cool. That is so cool. I gotta get a sleeve for this. Brother. That's insane! I am prepared though, I do have sleeves lying around. Yo, this is so cool! The Charizard from Darkness Ablaze, let's go! Nice, okay. Let's continue on, let's put the card here so it doesn't... There is no glare on it from my, from my light. Let's continue on with Champion's Path. Haven't really opened much of Champion's Path, although... Like these earlier sets, I haven't much uh, opened much of like full stop. So this is actually kind of kind of nice. We have a holographic energy, never seen that before, and a holographic scrafty. Okay. Oh, that appears to be a secret rare, or something like that. That appears to be like an additional pull because we got the normal energy. It goes it goes together well with the Charizard, so that's nice. Vivid Voltage, let's go. Best card you want to pull is, of course, the Rainbow Pikachu. And I I would love to pull the Rainbow Pikachu. I've pulled the, um, the, watch, the whatchamacallit, the normal full art with the pink background, which is, like, I think the second best card you can get. But I wouldn't wouldn't mind the Rainbow one. That would look good on my, on my Pikachu page in my binder. But we just get a Dusk Noir, still pretty nice. And another Fire Energy, Leak Stuff, Krokorok, and Aromatic Energy. So this is kind of like the last hurrah, if you will. Gotta get rid of the booster packs, the empty ones. Kind of like the last hurrah, if you will, for Sword and Shield. Because, um, well, Scarlet EX and Violet EX has already released in in Japan, and it's only gonna, gonna be a few more, or like one week, not one week, few more weeks, one month, there you go. Piplup, Sobble, and Turtwig. Nice. We've got the Fennekin as our holo from the from the McDonald's pack. That's really nice. I like the confetti holo foil. Let's put this aside. The Piplup is really, really cute. Look at this. Look at this little cutie. 
the syllable is near, and the tour trick. But the, the Piplop is really good, I like this. Because it's only gonna be like about one month. 31st of March is when when Scarlet and Violet, base set, releases in English. By the time um, Japan already has two sets, or like three sets with the Scarlet EX and the, the Violet EX and then Triple Beat. Which is gonna be amazing, which I'm... I'm hoping I can get a box for, like, near MSRP. Because the last- Yo, we've got a failing shiny! From Shining Fates. Nice! Okay. I like this opening. We've, we're getting lots of good stuff from this. I love it. Nice, 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 nice. So yeah, I- I would like to say I paid MSRP for- for my Violet EX box, but I did not. I didn't pay anywhere near MSRP, and it's crazy. It's so crazy. Okay, so battle styles. This is when alternate arts were introduced, and like alternate arts still to this day, are, like one of my favorite car types besides like full art trainers. They're so cool. Yo, we've got the rainbow rat trainer. We've got the single strike style mustard. Yo, that's so cool. We've got a full art trainer. You know how much I like full art trainers. That's amazing. Chilling Rain. I would hope to get one of the, um, one of the birds. Well, mainly the, the Moltres or the Articuno. Because those are the two I'm, miss, um, I'm missing. Of course, I, I got the, um, the, whatchamacallit, the Zapdos. From, like, the 100 uh, Euro Mystery Box, which I plan to do uh, at some point again, because that was pretty fun. Focus, please. Thank you. Got an Inke, a Diglett. Got a score bunny. Shop it. Got foo. We've got an impact energy. And we've got a Blissey V. Nice. Blissey V. And here is the code card. And Evolving Skies. Here we go. Is it gonna be Evolving Skies or is it gonna be Evolving Cries? I do have to be honest. Evolving Evolving Skies was the first set I opened when I got back into the hobby. And I bought like two booster boxes on release. I bought a German one and an English one. I know nowadays I only buy English products and then Japanese, of course. I rarely, if ever, buy buy German products. You know the the um, Silver Tempest one, the um, the Silver Tempest booster packs. That was like a one-time thing because I was kind of like out and about, and I was thinking, yeah, maybe I should buy some some cards. And I'm really glad that I did at that time. This is already our pull, let's see. Nothing, just a Florgus. It is Evolving Cries after all. But there you go, here is the code card. I really do hope that they... that they reprint Evolving Skies. Because Evolving Skies has so many, um, cards that I really want for my binder. Because I do plan to... to have like a page for alternate arts, or not all of them, like a... A, a page for my favorite alternate arts. And that just happens to be um, most of the evolutions, actually like all of them. So that would be pretty cool to have them. Let's see. Celebrations, one of the best sets of Sword and Shield. Okay, we didn't get a classic card, but we can still get something here. Nope, just a Lunala. So that was nothing from that, from that Celebrations pack, unfortunately. But it is what it is. Fusion Strike. Had really bad luck with Fusion Strike. Never pulled anything decent from Fusion Strike. Maybe that can change, although I'm pretty happy already. We have a full art trainer with the mustard, and we have the Charizard VMAX. That's so cool. Let's see. Okay, so the page in my binder, kind of thinking about it. I want to have a page for the evolution specifically, and then maybe I'll add in... I'll add in an extra page for, like, my favorite alternate arts. I think that's a better way to phrase it. So I have, like, two pages in total, or, like, 36 cards? There's a few bits and bobs. No, it might be 34, because the evolutions are only eight, and then in the middle of the page I plan to have, like, um, the EV, the Munch promo EV. You know, where it's, like, reenacting the scream. That would be pretty cool. That's also pretty expensive, but, you know, by far, the most expensive card for for these alternate arts, for these alternate art con, uh, collection, is of course the, the Umbreon V-Star, or not V-Star, the Umbreon V-Max. You know, the one reaching for the moon. That is crazy expensive. Nice, more Peko V. 
Hold that plenty of time, still very nice. Like more Peko. Here is the code card. Speaking of more Peko, um, the more Peko V Union from originally V Max Climax, that one is actually making it over to Crown Zenith in form of a promo. And you also get a jumbo card of that version as well as a playmat. And that is really cool. The playmat also features Marnie. Of course, it was a character rare in, in VMAX Climax, so of course it would feature a character in this form, Marnie. And that is a really cool card. Like, the playmat is gonna be really cool. And the jumbo card. I might actually try to get that. But we'll see. We'll, we'll see. I do have. Oh, nice! Radiant Heatran! Kind of forgot about the Radiant Pokemon and a Hisuian Typhlosion. Dude, these packs were stacked. These packs were absolutely stacked. Nice, I like it. Pokemon Go. That is probably my least favorite set out of all of these. Because, well, there are a few cool cards in here. Mainly the, the Radiant Stardust, if I can get this open, jeez. This is like all over the place. This is like from a, I don't know. I actually don't remember where I got this from. It might have been a Pokeball or something, like a Pokemon Go um, Pokeball. It's like, it's, it was just jammed in there. Also, I have never pulled, I've opened really rarely like Pokemon Go, but I've never pulled a, a Ditto in the reverse spot. So you know what, if we pulled the Ditto, that would be fine. I can see a rare, but that's just the Moltres. That is not a Ditto, unfortunately. And we've got a Melmetal, so nothing, nothing from the, from the Pokemon Go set. But there is the code card nonetheless. Here is the match battle. This is the, the second um, pack that you got from McDonald's. This actually includes like a, a very cool, very cool game. It's like where I keep all my other Pokemon cards and all like Pokemon related things. Like a, a cabin, a cabinet, not a closet. That might have been the wrong word, a cabinet. And it's actually pretty cool. Like I've, I've read through it. It seems pretty cool. Oh, that Chinchou. Look at this, Chincha, I like the artwork of this one. This looks really cool. What else do we have? We have a Drampa. And we have a Pangoro, okay. The Smeargle is our McDonald's confetti. Is it a rare? I can't even tell. It doesn't have any rarities. But there you go, we've gotten the, the Smeargle. So let's just put the Smeargle here for now. So here you go, the booster, or trick and trade. The... Halloween themed, uh, whatchamacallit, pack. There isn't really anything great in here that you can get if I remember correctly. It's like just a fun little thing, I guess, to give out on on um, Halloween, which is definitely something I would do if it were a, a big thing here, but it really isn't. We have the Dust Noir, we have the Spinnerack, and we have the Haunter. Okay. Dust Noir is our rare for this one. Cool icons, though. Only a few packs left, but so far I do have to say, damn, that was a pretty good opening so far. Like, really, really cool pulls. Lost Origin. Also never had any luck with Lost Origin. This is one another, another one of these. These, this feels like waxed or something. This looks, this feels really weird. I think this, this might have been from the same batch as the, the other Lost Origin packs that I opened in another video. Where I opened like a random assortment of booster packs, so... We'll see if this has anything. The other packs had some some decent pulls, so... This was already a pretty successful opening. I see something shiny here. Nice! Radiant Steelix! That is very cool. Let's see if we have something else. A Cresselia! With a very nice illustration. Here is the other course. Very happy Roserade. Look at this. And a Box of Disaster. Oh, foreshadowing for the other booster packs. Hopefully not. Focus, thank you very much for focusing on that. Right, put the Steelix here. This is actually the last sleeve I have prepared. I didn't expect to pull that many cards, to be honest. We only have two booster packs left, so let's see what we can get here. Dude, imagine. Just hear me out. I have pulled the, the Lugia alternate art from like 10 booster packs in total. What if we pulled it right here, like again, this time in English? That would be kind of crazy. It's not gonna happen, but that would be kind of crazy. Solosis, the Zubat. Oh no, I skipped a few cards. Because they're so stuck together for some reason. But there we go, we've got the Smeargle. Let's see if we have anything behind that. Nope, just an Arcanine. Just an Arcanine. 
here is the code card. There you go. With the smear glissite. Now, this is like kind of the kind of the reason why I like Brilliant Star so much because of the Trainer Gallery cards, and I guess Silver Tempest to an extent. Because it also features these these Trainer Gallery cards. I have to grab a sleeve. Grab a few extra, so we never know what we'll get in this one, but this is of course the last pack, Crown Zenith. The final, final set of Sword and Shield, and man, it has been a great ride so far. And Crown Zenith, this might just be like recency bias, because I've recently opened it, but this might actually be the best set from, from Sword and Shield. Some might argue that it, that it wouldn't be, but you know, this is pretty cool. We're gonna do a card trick for the last one, so here's the code card. I'm gonna do three to the front, the fourth one goes here. And then let's see, we have the trekking shoes, we have the Metang, digging duo, we have a potion, Galarian Mr. Mime, we have a Sunkern, a coughing, an Oddish, very happy Oddish, I like it, and we've got the Melanie Full Art, yo, I have this in Japanese, I pulled this in Japanese, which I plan to send off to grading, but this is really nice. There is the energy, I kind of did the card trick wrong. And then Anamorus, okay. I did the card trick wrong. Yo, we're ending it with a full art trainer. This is amazing, this is really cool. Hang on, let me grab my Japanese one, because I actually want to compare something. Okay, so here we are. This is the one I pulled from the from the Mew Jumbo collection, the Japanese one. And like right off the bat, just, just compare these two cards, and you can tell immediately that the Japanese one kind of like reflects the light. Way better than the English one. Also, like, let's see if I can show this off on the, on this camera. I might not be able to because of the macro. You can definitely see the texture of this one. You can definitely make it out, but if we compare it to the to the Japanese one right here, this is like way finer texture. I'll see if I can if I can like point it out in the editing or something like that. But this, I think, this is part of the reason why the Japanese cards are more expensive, kind of, because they definitely feel way better quality than the English ones, but nonetheless, this is still an amazing pull. We've pulled the- what have we pulled? Oh yeah, right, we've pulled the Adaman in the- in the other uh, Crown Zenith opening. So this will go- go well together with the Adaman. Nice, but anyways, that does it for- for my every Sword and Shield pack opening video. I hope you did enjoy. I know I did. We pulled some really great stuff here. But this is- this was an amazing opening. I really, really enjoyed it. But anyways, if you also did, then a like would be appreciated. Uh, subscribe to the channel for more awesome content in the future. And thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace.